hello and welcome to the channel the name is guru today we do have the motorola device right over here which is the moto z3 which is been on the factory reset protection also refer as the google account lock so here on this tutorial i'm going to show you how to remove the google account lock on your moto z3 and the z play z3 play so this are what you are going to face when you try to activate your device so in this procedure all steps will be shown so make sure to follow the steps carefully and this tutorial works 100 percent so first change the language to this language right over here that i'm going to select right over here click on this language then select the first language showing now click on the emergency double tap on the emergency info now go in and click on the pencil here on the pencil once again then click on the avatar which is the name click on the space then when the keyboard pop ups click and hold the globe symbol language settings then click on add language so here let's choose the first language showing then we add it to the keyboard click on add now it's been added to the keyboard so now let's move back to the hello desk screen so let's move back to the hello desk screen then we change the language back to english so let's change the language back to english so let's select the country united states now let's click on emergency info double tap on this let's repeat the same procedure that we used to change or add a language to the keyboard so now let's do it once again click on the name space then hold the globe symbol now click on language settings add keyboard so from here we are not going to add any language to the keyboard you just have to scroll to the we see in a language which has an arrow in front of it just click on it and click on the three dots help and feedback so when you click on help and feedback the help menu should load and now you should click on the control your android so click control your android device click on it so now let's hit on the play to play the video so when the moment the video start to play click on the title of the video then it will take you to youtube and click on the three dots then you click on terms and privacy policy click continue no thanks now when the browser start loading click on the search bar then click on the globe to change the language to english keyboard then now search for frp for slash bypass so after searching it you will even have it in your suggestion so here i do have it in the suggestion list so click on it so when the first website pop up click on it and it will take you the, to the frp uh, website to so wait for the website to verify your identity so here we do have the website being loaded and oh, sorry guys let's move to the website so this site is fully loaded and all we have to do is to download two apk files right over here so one is to download the google account manager and the bypass frp version 1.0 so let's start downloading the, the necessary permission click on ok to start downloading the file so the file is almost done downloading so let's download the second apk file so let's go to the google account manager apk so click on ok to start downloading so let's move to our download section so here we do have the app download in progress so let's wait for the download to finish then we will begin to install the app so almost done installing the app so okay now we have the apps installed click on it to start installing the app give permission allow unknown source just just take it and allow unknown source now move back and now we can we will be able to install the apk files so wait for the apk file to install click on done then now, now let's install the frp bypass application 
so now that is also done so you click on open on it now click on the three dot on the right corner sign browse sign in so click on that one and then you now be prompt to sign in so here if you forgotten your previous google account you have to create one using a different device then you come in here and sign in so let let me input my my google account address right over here then after that you click next so i i didn't make a mistake in my address so let me type it correctly so if you are still enjoying this video make sure to give a like to the video and also if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to the channel so now here let's input the password so i'll be pausing the video then input my password now the password is done click next so wait for the signing after signing in it will close from the app so now that's okay let's move back and then click on the open settings app now we are in the settings so when we move to the account we have our account being signed in so we do have our address being signed in so now move to settings uh, security then to location turn location on and also move back then move to administ uh, device administrator so here we do have the device administrator make sure to find my device is being turned on so if yours is not being turned on make sure to turn it on so now let's search for find my let's search for find my phone in the same browser when you move back to your browser search for find my phone sorry we have to do it in this way you have to search for find my device so let's do it find my device type in find, find my device then search for it so here we do have the first site showing which is from google so click on it to to open site so now when you open the website you, you have to sign in so make sure you sign in, in with the same account that you need to sign in into the frp bypass jpk file so make sure you use the same sign in so let me repeat the password of the account so make sure to use the same account using different account will not work so make sure you use the same account so i get my password wrong so i'll have to you know input it again and now you will be on the find my phone website so here we do you can save your password so here we are, do, we are now in the find my phone or find my device so wait for the find my phone to locate your device so wait for it to load now it has detected our device showing the battery percentage and as well so now all we have to do is to set a security to, to set a security code on this device so all you have to do is to secure your device click on secure device so when you click on secure your device it will take you to to sign in again so now verify your, your account once again and now you are in the website and now you have to set a pin so i'll be using one two three four then click next and repeat the password again it is the one two three four then that's it click next so click next after setting the password and make sure to remember this password so make sure to use one two three four so after including the password the next step is to just enter a recovery message which is optional but i require you to do it so let's input any phone number so let's input phone number then after that we click on secure device so now all options have been filled so let's click on secure device and now you will be shown on this screen say call the owner of this phone so let's click call and after the call just swipe up to unlock the device so we have to lock the device once again just to verify we still do have the lock on the device so still we do have the lock on the device so which means we are able to set 
code on this device so now let's do this now let's send in or erase the device using the command from the find my phone website so we now erase device and this will power off your device then erase content on your device so i'll be fast forwarding this part so if you are able to do this by erasing your device using the find my device then you should give a, this video a like and now we are almost done so our phone is done restarting so all you have to do is to start our device so then follow the setup to, uh, procedure then make sure to connect to a wi-fi network so i'll be inputting the password of my wi-fi network right over here then click next so wait for it to check for updates so let me fast forward this part for it to check for updates it will take a minute depending on your internet speed so we are done now click on done copy you don't need to copy any data so the click on done copy now here we have been prompt to input our password so we set the password to be one two three four input the password now click next oh, sorry i just make a mistake in the password so make sure you type in the password correctly and then click next so our password has been accepted and now you can click back so you do see there is no lock symbol showing on the top and now we do have skip button under the wi-fi so when you click on continue you will be disconnected from the wi-fi network then you will be able to set your device so now i click skip if 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 you want to set a pin on your device you can now set a pin or click on skip to skip so now we are able to solve the factory reset protection so this is how if you do forget you only use this to unlock your device if you do forget your previous google account id so that's it so we have successfully unlocked the device and we are on in the phone so move to settings and we then we can find these devices there moto z3 so as i said this will work on your moto z3 play so here we do have it this is the Moto Z3. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. The name is Guru. Peace.